day, dear learners. Welcome to another episode of Learn Math with Doc Gilma. Are you ready, class, for the next lesson? So if you're ready, just sit back, relax, and listen carefully to the topic to be discussed for today. Alright, class, let's begin! The topic I will be discussing for today's lesson is all about angles and angle pairs. Consider the following concepts for today's lesson. Complementary angles, supplementary angles, adjacent angles, linear pair angles, and vertical angles. Number one, complementary angles. When we talk about complementary angles, these are two angles whose measure have a sum of 90 degrees. Consider angle PQR and angle XYZ. If the measure of angle PQR is 40 degrees and the measure of angle XYZ is 50 degrees, take note class, angle PQR and angle XYZ are complementary since the measure of angle PQR plus the measure of angle XYZ is equal to 40 degrees plus 50 degrees, which is just equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, angle PQR and angle XYZ are complementary angles. Take note of that. Take note, the complement of an angle is an angle pair of an angle which makes their sum equal to 90 degrees. Consider illustrative examples. Number one, the complement of 20 degrees is 70 degrees. Since 20 degrees plus 70 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Number two, the complement of 60 degrees is 30 degrees. Since 60 degrees plus 30 degrees is just equal to 90 degrees. Number 3. The complement of the quantity x plus 50 degrees is quantity negative x plus 40 degrees. Since x plus 50 plus negative x plus 40 is simply equal to 90 degrees since x and negative x will be cancelled out since they are additive inverse. Number two, supplementary angles. When we talk about supplementary angles, these are two angles whose measure have a sum of 180 degrees. Consider angle PQR and angle XYZ. If the measure of angle PQR is 130 degrees and the measure of angle XYZ is 50 degrees. Take note, angle PQR and angle XYZ are supplementary angles since the measure of angle PQR plus the measure of angle XYZ is equal to 130 degrees plus 50 degrees which is just equal to 
180 degrees. Take note of that. Take note class. The supplement of an angle is an angle pair of an angle which makes their sum equal to 180 degrees. Consider illustrative examples. The supplement of 30 degrees is blank. This is just equal to 150 degrees. Since 30 degrees plus 150 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Number two, the supplement of 100 degrees is blank. This is just equal to 80 degrees. Since 100 degrees plus 80 degrees is just equal to 180 degrees. Number three, the supplement of the quantity x plus 40 degrees is blank. This is just equal to negative x plus 140 quantity degrees. Since x plus 40 plus negative x plus 140 degrees is just equal to 180 degrees. Consider number 3. Adjacent angles. When we talk about adjacent angles, these are two angles that share a common vertex and a common side. Consider angle PQR and angle RQS. As you can see here, these two angles PQR and angle RQS share a common vertex and a common side. The common vertex is point Q and the common side is ray QR. So from here, we can say that angle PQR and angle RQS are adjacent angles. Since the common vertex is point Q, the common side is ray QR. So take note of that. Number four, linear pair. When we talk about linear pair, these are two adjacent angles whose non-common sides are opposite rays. Consider angle PQR and angle RQS. In this particular figure class, we have angle PQR and angle RQS. The common vertex is point Q. The two unshared sides, or what we call the opposite rays, are ray QP and ray QS. So as you can see here, therefore we can say that angle PQR and angle RQS are linear pair. Consider the linear pair postulate. If two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. Consider number five, vertical angles. When we talk about vertical angles, these are angles formed by two intersecting lines. Consider illustrative example here. We have line AB and line CD intersects at point O. 
angle BOC and angle AOD are vertical angles. Angle COA and angle BOD are also vertical angles. So as you can see here, consider illustrative examples for vertical angles. Consider line AB and line CD intersects at point O. Angle BOC and angle AOD are vertical angles and angle COA and angle BOD are vertical angles. If the measure of angle COA is 65 degrees, then it follows that the measure of angle BOD is also 65 degrees. If the measure of angle BOC is 115 degrees, then angle AOD is also equal to 115 degrees since they are vertical angles. So this is actually based on the vertical angles postulate. If two angles are vertical angles, then they are congruent. So as you can see in the given figure. Before we end our discussion for today, let me first share to you a simple passage from the Bible. Coming from Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Glory to God who is able to do far beyond all that we could ask or imagine by His power at work within us. Take not class, skills are developed through constant correct practice and there will always be a room for improvement. That's all for today. Stand by for more lessons. Stay safe everyone. And may God bless us all.